Welcome back to Stone Magpie. Thank you for joining me again today. This is now the end of week four. I've done seven hours, 44 minutes this week, making a total of 30 hours, two minutes. And I'm happy to say that I've managed to get her face done as well. I'll just peel back the um, paper covering it. I tend to keep this paper on as much as I can to protect this sticky bit at the top from getting too fluffy. If you're wondering why I'm not cutting off um, the cover sheets as I go along. So let me just fold this back so that you can see where I'm up to. Um, so as you can see, I've managed to finish this part here. Um, and I've done a little bit here, but it's quite patchy there. So that's not yet complete, that, sec that section. Um, here, I wish now that I'd counted how many individual colours there were there, because that was um, a lot of different colours in there. I will zoom in and show you that a bit closer in a moment. This is lovely here, and there are lots of colours here, but not as intense as there. Luckily, I'm getting to a more solid bit as we move along again, which tends to happen. I think the middle part is going to be the confettied area. Um, that's how it's been so far anyway. So now I will zoom in, do one of my famous zooms in, and hopefully not try and wobble too much for you. So here we go. There we are. So this is the portion from this week. Again, there's lots of colours here. I don't know if it's picking it out as well as what um, you can see once uh, it's on the table, as it were. So hopefully you're getting a good view there of her face. And you can see just how many colours there are in that little segment there. And then the codes here, again, are just a lot, there's a lot more of them in that area bit more of a solid colourway there. So that gives you a really good idea. It's slipping off the table a little bit, so I'm going to pull out again and pop you onto full view. All right, so luckily I've managed to get the face done this week, so it means I'll be able to do a comparison with my other version that I purchased before realising that you could actually get official Josephine Wall pictures. So I will be back in a moment once I've got the canvas on the table. Okay, so here I have now the official Josephine Wall painting at the top here. And this is the canvas that I got from China. Before I realised that you could get the official Josephine Wall, I really wanted to get a large Libra picture and found this on Amazon. I did do an unboxing video and when I first received it, I was really pleased. Although I was very surprised that it only has 30 colors in it. And then I'll just peel back so you can see. Um, when I started actually diamond painting it, there were terrible creases in the canvas that I just could not get out. And also the diamonds were such poor quality, they wouldn't sit close together properly. I don't think you can pick it out on here, um, but they keep popping off and there were so many little burrs on the sides that they um, they just not, they didn't click into place. Um, it's hard to describe, but if you're used to using square diamonds, you'll know what I mean. There was like gaps in between the diamonds because of the little burrs on the side of them. Um, so I did complain and I did get a partial refund, which I thought was okay. I'm never ever going to complete this picture because it, it was bad enough doing as much as I did. <laughs> right, so hopefully you'll be able to see a comparison. Um, I will move my camera a bit closer to get a better view. But even this cloud here compared to the cloud at the top, let's see if I can those two a bit closer and scroll up. Okay, can you see what I mean by that? That 
the fineness of the finish is just there's no comparison whatsoever it's um, that was so disappointing and then you look at that and it's just beautiful now the faces let's see there she is the official face and then the unofficial face it, I mean it's fine it's got some definition to it but it's not as beautiful as that one zoom in so there's the official face okay and then the unofficial version with 30 colors and if you look above here as well yes we've got some colors but um, when you look at this one there are so much more and it's just a finer picture so I'll try and zoom out again my famous wobbles <laughs> oh dear me right so I think that gives you a really good idea I am going to tell you the prices so that you can compare those as well because you know it is all relevant this one cost me 77 pounds like I say, at the time I was happy, it was like, brilliant, I'm getting a big Libra picture. Um, and as you know, the Josephine wall was 113 euros delivered from Germany, which worked out about 103 pounds. But the difference in quality for that difference in price is just out of this world, really. I would much prefer to pay 103 pounds and have that picture then £77 for one that is, in my view, substandard. Okay, right, I think I've said that enough now and I have done the comparison. I will now be able to, well, I don't really even know what to do with this, to be honest. I'll probably roll it up and keep it in its box and decide whether I can use the canvas for something else or not, but I doubt it because it was that bad. Okay. I will continue next week with my beautiful picture and I will join you at the end of week five to show you how I've got on. There will be another comparison more towards the end of the picture with a smaller version of the Libra one I did as well. Again, unofficial, a lot happier with that one than I was this one. So there will be a third comparison to show as well. Okay, in the meantime, enjoy your diamond painting. Do please subscribe. And I'll see you at the end of next week. Bye for now.